This is the final part of lesson 6.1. We're at 6.1D. We're going to talk about relations and functions. So this will be a little review of what we learned in Algebra 1. We have three previous videos so far for Chapter 6 that are in the Geometry Playlist. And many numeric relationships in geometry can be represented by algebraic relations. And these relations may or may not be functions depending on their domain and range. So if you remember from middle school and from Algebra 1, we have x and y values. The x values are the domain, the input, the x-coordinate, and they're the set of first members in a relation. And the y values are the range, the output, the y-coordinate. They're the f of x, the function of x, and they're the second members in a relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. All the first coordinates in the set of the ordered pairs is the domain of the relation. All the second coordinates are the range of the relation. And a function is a type of relation that pairs each element in the domain with exactly one element in the range. And we can give the domain and range of the relation for y equals the quotient of 6 and x minus 6. And we can tell whether the relation is a function. First thing we do is make a table of values for the relation. We can make it horizontally or vertically. I like to do it vertically because then I can see each ordered pair, okay? So we substitute in some values for what x could be and we find out what y is and we make our ordered pairs, okay? When x is a negative 6, y is a negative 0.5. When x is a 0, y is a negative 1. When it's a 5, y is a negative 6. But look what happens when we make x a 6. We get it undefined. See? You can't divide by 0. When we make it a 7, y is a 6. When we make it a 12, y is a 1. So now we have our ordered pairs. Okay? So these are each of our ordered pairs, and we're not going to be able to use this one, really, because we don't have a y value. It was undefined. All right? And... You're going to learn about asymptotes and hyperbolas in Algebra 2, Chapter 10, and it'll talk about uh, when x is 6 and y is 0 and what's happening here. These are hyperbolas, okay, because the lines are curving. So we plot each of these points and connect them with smooth curves. We identify the domain and range, and since y is undefined at x equals 6, this is where x is equal to 6 and y is undefined. We found that. The domain of the relation is the set of all real numbers except 6. So if you look at this line, this is where x is 6. It approaches where x is 6, but it never touches. It gets close. And look it up here. Even for the positives for y, it doesn't touch 6, but it approaches it. See? And there's no x value such that y equals 0. And the, the range of the relation is the set of all real numbers except 0. So for y, it gets close to the 0 for y, but it doesn't quite touch it. And same here. It's going to get close to the 0 for y, but not touch it. And we determine whether the relation is a function. From the graph, we can see that only one y value exists for each x value, so the relation is a function. We can try it again. Is the relation y equals the quotient of negative 5x plus 9 and 3 a function? And what we do is we put in some values for x to come up with y. And we do all our math. We do several of them. And you notice I don't do them right next to each other. I went 2, 4, 6 because I'm trying to make points farther apart so it's easier to graph. We make our table of values and there is only one x, there's only one y value that exists for each x value, and they're all real numbers. So it is a function, okay? I hope that brought back memories from Algebra 1. Our next lesson is properties of parallelograms theorem, that's 6.2a, and that's going to be followed by parallelograms in the coordinate plane for 6.2b before we move on to 6.3, okay? So if you don't remember this, I hope this jogged your memory, your memory. And if you really don't remember it and need more help, you can always go back to Algebra 1 and look at those videos real quick, OK? Hope you're doing well. I'll see you next time. Hit that Like button. Bye.